of the North Carolina Supreme Court voted to remove Robert F. Kennedy Jr. from the state's election ballot. All 100 counties had to reprint their absentee ballots. Tomorrow, those absentee ballots will finally be sent out to voters. With this delay, the State Board of Elections is ensuring voters they will still have enough time to cast their ballot. Down to your side's Gabby Sartori talked with the State Board of Elections director today. She joins us tonight from our newsroom. So, Gabby, what can you tell us? The absentee ballots will be sent out to every voter who's requested one so far. 102 ballots have already been returned by military and overseas personnel. 200,000 absentee ballot requests have been collected in total and are prepared to be sent out this Tuesday. While ballots are being sent off, it's important to be efficient when returning them. USPS and the State Board of Elections are urging voters to leave enough time for their vote to be collected by the 730 deadline on November 5th. They are cautioning or, or trying to emphasize to voters to make sure that they allow at least a week possibly earlier to get that ballot back in the mail. Along with the new election night deadline, in-person voting will also see a change in approach. We have photo ID in place for the first presidential election uh, in North Carolina. So folks need to know uh, what are approved types of photo ID or if they can't get an ID, how to complete that exception form um, or how to go and get a free voter ID at their county board of elections. If you are unregistered, by law, election books close 25 days before the election, which is October 11th. If you aren't registered in North Carolina, you can also register during early voting. They'll bring in their documents uh, for their residency, show their driver's license, uh, and or something of that nature, and they will get registered and vote during the early voting period. The absentee ballot request deadline is on October 29th. State Board of Elections is urging voters to submit this sooner rather than later. They also encourage voters to go to bringitnc.gov to learn more about logistics ahead of Election Day. In the newsroom, Gabby Sartori, nine on your side. All right, Gabby, thanks. And let's